Go inside, call a mama bad like Michael Can't really trust nobody with all this jewelry on You my roof look like a no show Got diamonds by the polo What's up y'all? Happy October! I'm back with the bullet journal setup video And I decided to keep it kind of simple I know a lot of people are, you know Basing their theme off of Halloween But I don't celebrate Halloween that much like, I'm into it, but I'm not into it like that. So, I decided to do something a little different. And you see the spider web up in the corner. That will be a theme throughout this <laughs> throughout this bullet journal setup. Don't worry, there's no spiders. Because if you're like me, then no, I don't like spiders. But, you know, I have a little lightning cloud up at the top. And then I'm also going to build some some texture and some layers on this so and this doesn't go with my color scheme this October little mini calendar that I'm going on the page but the ones that I bought they're all that color so I'm just gonna work with what I got but yeah and then I decided to use my markers outline it a little bit make it pop a little bit more and the color theme I'm going for this month is white black yellow and gray so I have these metallic markers. Um, I don't know the name of them because they're in Japanese or Chinese. So I couldn't tell you. But they're metallic markers. So I don't know if it'll pick it up on camera. But it's metallic markers. And so I outlined it with silver. And I wanted my layout to be bigger. Because school has started for me. And I need as much room to write as much stuff. So... I wrote October in yellow down at the bottom and then I put these black lines and black little scribbles and I'm using this white marker to just put the days of the week and the number and yeah I was about to say it takes a second for it to pop up but I just kept it simple for that and then I really enjoyed this last month and so I decided to bring back the video ideas page this helps me to keep my video ideas in one place so I could always look at them and so I just keep that simple. I just put spider webs in the corners so I have enough room to write down whatever I'm thinking at the time. And I also enjoyed this last month as well. I got this idea from I think Amanda Rachel Lee here on YouTube. She does great bullet journal setup videos if you haven't checked her out by now. But this is a social media tracker. So I have multiple Instagram accounts and uh, YouTube accounts. So I just want to keep track with how they're growing and so yeah, I love that and just a heads up I'm gonna kind of skip and do some most of this off camera because it would have this video would have been so long so I'm just yeah as you can see I just cut it down but there's my sleep tracker and I'm doing something different I saw this on Pinterest and it's a circle type of design and so I have the dates all 31 days on the inside as you can see and then I have a key down at the bottom so if I got four to five hours of sleep that day then I would use a green marker and put those little lines and I just flipped the page but you'll see it at the end I did my habit tracker off camera as well and I did the mini calendars so all you have to do is circle or color in that number if you've done that certain habit for that day and my expense tracker, I always keep my expense tracker very, very simple. And I didn't break it down by the weeks this month. I decided to just make a list. And if I really want to go into detail, then I'm just going to put the date by whatever I bought. But I'm keeping, I'm keeping my expense tracker very simple. And then my mood tracker, I decided to keep up with the spider web theme. And this took a minute. This took a long time. And... Yeah, I decided there's more than 31 little sections on the inside of the spider web, but I decided to just space them out and put the numbers or the days of the month throughout the spider web, as you can see. And so, however, I'm feeling for that day, I'm going to use the marker. As you can see, I just made my key, and I'm going to use the marker for that. And then my weekly layout. And so, I'm going to quickly, quickly flip through last month's bullet journal setup if you want to see it. I'll have a link down below and then this is this month's setup 
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.